All right, welcome back to live. In this video, we're going to be looking at page settings, solo buttons, check to use buttons, chase play, and random play. So let's go ahead and get started with solo buttons. In pages, when you select a scene, Amber turns on. Well, let's say if I wanted to hit the blue scene. Well, now, as you can see, the blue scene activates, but the amber scene is still active. So instead of having a true blue color, it is now blended between amber and blue. And let's say if I wanted the red scene, now it's nice, it's a blend between amber, blue, and red. And if I do white, now it's just an off color. So as you can see, we really don't want that. But in certain cases, we do want the capability of being able to add different layers for light scenes. But if we don't want it, there's a quick button, and it's called solo buttons. Go ahead and activate that for your page. Now, if I click amber, I'm going to go to blue, red, white. And as you can see, there's no overlapping. It makes the page just activate one scene at a time, as you can see. And when you know there is a page with a solo button activated, there's going to be a one with the box around it. So that is your clue. Okay, so that is solo buttons. Next is check use buttons. If you click this, the moment you select a scene, it's going ahead and put a check mark saying that you've already ran that scene. All right, let's go ahead and go back. Now let's go ahead and look at chase play and random play. Now let's say if you're a wedding DJ, you created your color scenes for your dance floor, okay? and you want just show express to run your scenes automatically and cycle through them without you having to click through your scenes. So to do this, it's very simple. Drop down menu and you can click chase play or random play. Let's go ahead and do chase play. And now you can see that it's activated and now it's gonna go to the next scene. Now, according to your scene, it's going to take the duration set on that scene. So for instance, these scenes are set to a five second scene. So let's go back to live. One, two, three, four, five. As you can see, it's set here. Now, if you click a generator scene, here's the G, or a pixel scene, which is right here, generator scenes and pixel scenes do not change according to the duration. They are infinity scenes, meaning they don't stop. So it will not go to the next scene with generator scenes by default. Okay? So it will do it on step scenes and, the, and how much the duration is set on step scenes, but it will not do it on generator scenes. But you can set the duration with generator and pixel scenes. So to do that, we're going to simply right click on the scene itself. You're going to see button duration. And let's set it to three seconds. Now let's start it. One, two, three. Goes to the next. So that is how you can get away with having generator and pixel scenes. So those pixels generator do not change unless you set the set duration. I'm going to go back to the button duration, go to zero. Okay. <clears throat> That's chase play. So basically it chases in order. Now let's look at random play. Random play is essentially going to go in a random order. You can see five seconds. Now it heads over there. It's not going to change. So let's go ahead and set that duration again. Let's go to one second. But duration, one second. Set this one, button duration, one second. All right, so now as you can see, it randomly goes through your scenes inside your page. So if this applies to you, that is how you set up your random scenes with chase play and random play. I'm going to go ahead and deactivate our solo buttons as well and go back to default. All right. See you on the next video.